like bringing things out and keeping them and I want to make sure I'm not showing things that we've had so many sellouts, Paul. How many sellouts have we had since we've started at the beginning of the hour? A lot. All right, 20 inches in the length with this beautiful necklace. I want to point out this is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. You've got East West, you've got North South. This is incredible. Obviously, the chain attached, you don't have to pick up anything else to just pop it on right away. Price at over $200. $99.90 is our anniversary price. And FlexPay, $33.30. It is a wow piece. If you have $33.30 on any major credit card, if you would love to have a Chaco Canyon piece, thinking about Mother's Day, which is coming up May 11th, it's April already, um, or graduation coming up. These are great uh, graduation. My daughter's graduated from middle school, so I think about Aww. everybody graduating from high school, graduating from college, graduating from graduate school. Maybe you went back to school to get a degree. This is, you know, all these things are celebrating life. And I... I'm really kind of stunned that we have so much Sleeping Beauty because it is the end of the line. And this is another husband-wife, the yes. Kenneths. Yes, Danny and Grace Kenneth, and um, they've been married for a large number of years. And actually, Grace taught her husband silversmithing, and they were married back in the 80s. And so ever since then, they've been they've been a husband and wife team working together and making pieces like this. And so um, <coughs> as you can tell that they're, they've I've done themselves, and especially... With this piece, it's very dainty, but yet elegant. You've got the silver beading that just brings the whole um, unique silver, uh, the uniqueness of the silver out, and especially with the Sleeping Beauty turquoise, it brings in more of a wow factor to it. Okay, uh, it's so gorgeous. And, you know, I want to talk about how many they can make in a day. Because you think about in this world, you think about, you know, factories, production lines, machines. This is something completely different. 14 of those on a good day, a husband and wife working together to make this piece happen. We have, I'm trying to, Paul, how many do we have with everybody on the line? It's so hard to kind of judge. I want to make sure a little accurate. We have a little over, we have about 150 pieces of these. And that, that is it. This is stabilized blue Sleeping Beauty turquoise. These are ovals, 5 by 10 millimeters and 7, 5 by 7 millimeters. The real thing they're not, they don't look like Sleeping Beauty. We're not talking about the color of Sleeping Beauty. These are actual Sleeping Beauty turquoise. We actually, I would say, Chaco Canyon Southwest Sleeping Beauty turquoise necklace. Like, I would have it right in the front so everybody knows. Uh, I'm, you know, and, and I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. That mine is closed. They, they're, they're making copper. You know, that's what they're digging out now. This is the final quantity. Pound of it. It's going to go for around 10 grand now. I mean, it, it, and the, Expensive, expensive. And, and mm -hmm. not, not even a left. So... If you see pieces in a show, it's there. That's it. It's not like, oh, you know what? We're gonna keep making this for the next ten years. Maybe with something else, maybe a different style, but not with Sleeping Beauty. No. So actually, with the artisan, they have to make do with the the rough that they have and and not um, waste anything. And so when you, especially with pieces like this, they have to perfectly, you know. Uh, round out the silver and the, the turquoise you have to smooth it out and so so nothing is wasted you know they have to work with it because that is their bread and butter yeah exactly and i want to talk about some of the stories behind this because art is a livelihood and what a wonderful way to make a living through art and the art of native americans keeping their spirituality spirituality alive so mm -hmm. it's part of their religion in a yes. sense is and especially nature with this. and with turquoise and um, uh, a long time ago, turquoise and coral were found in excavation sites throughout the Southwest. You know, they were sewn together with bone and sinew. They have made necklaces. They have adorned pottery with turquoise. They have adorned a part of pottery with shells. And so, mm -hmm. just the trading back then in the, the the hub of Chaco Canyon. Chaco Canyon was actually a place where many different tribes would come together and celebrate their tradition. And so, when that had happened, they would teach each other their their skills. And they would. It was just basically like a big stop where everyone went to the different directions. And so, uh, I don't know if those of you who have never gone to Chaco Canyon. It's just gorgeous. It's a big place where everyone has met and have come together to celebrate their cultures, different cultures out there. All right. Well, we started out with about 200. Um, 150 are gone. We have less than 50 left. 
we were going to talk about it for another minute, but we, it's going to go on its very own without us even mentioning more. But we do have some left. We've got uh, like 50, 60 of them. So I don't want you to hang up. I want you to keep ordering. Put down your flex payment at 3330. This is something you'll have for generations. And uh, it's just gorgeous.